Welcome back, Mr. Norgren here. Our eighth lesson is titled Old Photo, and you will learn how to restore a damaged photo using a variety of restoration tools. Here's our list of terms. Today we have the spot healing brush tool as well as the healing brush tool. And then the patch tool and the cloning tool. All right, let's get started. Okay, go ahead and open up Photoshop if it's not open already, and then choose File Open from the menu bar or the keyboard shortcut Command O. Navigate to your Video Lesson Images folder that's on the Macintosh HD, and then find the old photo right here. Open that up and then choose Image Duplicate from the menu bar. Click OK. And go ahead and close the original one and then save this new file in your documents folder. And then you're going to go to your video lessons and name this one last name VL8. And then click save or return. Uh, next, go ahead and enlarge this image by pressing command zero. Oops, click OK here. Command zero. Or you could also do command plus and minus to zoom in and out. Okay, this is a photo of my wife's grandmother and her great aunts, and photo credit, credit goes to Ludwig Christensen of Glostrup, Denmark. Before we start fixing this image, drag the background layer to the new layer icon, or press Command J, and then choose the crop tool, that's the letter C, it's right over here, I press C on my keyboard. And then click and drag the right and left handles to the center a little bit, to get rid of the uh, white edges. And if uh, snapping is still on your computer, you could click on view and go down to snap and uncheck that. So it'll drag in a little bit smoother. So I just wanna get rid of these white edges on that side and this side a little bit. And maybe bring up the bottom a little bit here. And then press return. Okay, next go ahead and choose the zoom tool. That's the letter Z if you forgot that, right down here at the bottom. And then click and drag um, somewhere near the top right corner of the image. We'll do that right up here. And if you notice a little grid that shows up, what you could do is go up to view and go down to show and then get rid of the pixel grid right here. I don't really like that pixel grid. Okay, next choose the spot healing brush tool. It's the letter J. I'll go ahead and press J on my keyboard. And then over here in the tool options, make sure that you have the correct tool. There's a bunch of different tools here. And we'll start with the one at the top, the spot healing brush tool. You can make your brush a little bit bigger or smaller with the uh, right and left bracket keys. And you could also uh, right click anywhere in the image uh, to bring this up to and bring up the size and bring it down. I keep the hardness usually at about 50%. If you want to get rid of this little window, you can just press return. Okay, so start fixing the spots by clicking on them. Just click on a spot and it disappears. There's a little watermark there, you could do that. Kind of make a little circle there. And you just go around and get rid of any spots that look like they shouldn't be there. And then you've got a more smooth looking uh, background here. Okay, uh, at the top of the screen, I usually keep the uh, tool options, uh, their default settings. And then I uncheck the sample all layers box. Sometimes if you notice that you've got multiple layers and things aren't working correctly, you can turn that on. You can test out some of the other options here, like create texture, and then see what happens if you try to fix an area. And that creates a little texture. I don't like that, so Command Z and undo that. And we'll go back to the content aware here. Okay, so next step, what you're gonna do is, for these long scratches, let me go ahead and navigate to a different area. I could hold the space bar and drag around, or that other trick I showed you in a previous lesson, you could hold the H key and then click and drag quickly and then go down to these long scratches. Okay, so for the long scratches, you can use the spot healing brush, but it's sometimes, let me make this a little smaller, 
it sometimes leaves a little line, so I could draw a little line there to get rid of it. And you notice if you kind of squint your eyes a little bit, you could see a line. So Command Z and undo that. We're going to switch to a different tool. We're going to use the healing brush tool. And that's right below this tool. If you press Shift J, it will toggle to the next one. And if I leave my mouse there, this is the healing brush tool. Or you could also click and hold and see the list and the names right there. So we'll go to the healing brush tool. And this one's a little bit different than the spot healing brush. What you need to do for this one is hold down the option key. Let me make the brush a little bigger with the brackets. Uh, hold down the option key. I'm pressing option now on the keyboard. And it turns into a little target. And then click. And now let go of option, let go of the click. And then move your mouse a little bit. And now start clicking and dragging. See that little plus that's just to the right of my circle? That's showing the areas that I'm cloning. And with this tool, you have to constantly option click different uh, source points to make it look just right. Because sometimes what could happen is you will do something like this. Let me just fix this up a little bit. This is looking pretty good. Uh, sometimes you might option click over here and then move your mouse way over here to start fixing something. And see where the plus is right now? If I start going over here, you're actually starting to duplicate that stuff under the table, and that does not look good. So Command Z that. Okay, uh, now what you're going to do is switch to the patch tool, and we're going to navigate to another area on the image. So go ahead and get the patch tool. Click and hold on this and go down to patch, or you could do the Shift J. Now you can use the space bar to move around, or you could do that H, click, drag, and then drop down to the bottom left here. With the patch tool, what you can do, this is kind of cool, you can draw a selection around this large area. So I'll just draw a little selection, and then let go. And now click and drag inside this selection, and go up to the right, and up a little bit here. And you can see that just kind of samples that area. Now remember to deselect, Command D, and that looks pretty good. Okay, now what we're going to do is move up to the girl's face on the right. Space bar, that works just fine. And you'll notice that there's a scratch right along the edge of her face. Now the healing brush tool won't work well because what the healing brush tool does is it blends the dark colors of the face with the light colors of the background and it just kind of guesses what should go there. So it doesn't work too well for edges. So what you what you will use for this is the clone stamp tool. That's the letter S on the keyboard. So I'll press S and take a look at this tool. There's a clone stamp and a pattern stamp. Make sure it is the clone stamp. Make my brush a little bit smaller here. And uh, this works just the same as the healing brush tool. You have to option click to clone an area first and then uh, paint over the scratches. And this is a very delicate process. And what I recommend doing is like zooming in and out often while you're doing this to make it look just right. So let me uh, work on this for just a second. And option click right here on these pixels and then just kind of start painting over it. And then let me get some of the dark shadows under the chin here and maybe bring in some more of the chin and then just keep option clicking and cloning different areas to make it look good so zooming in and out i'd recommend using the navigator i could go to window navigator i showed you this in another lesson and you could quickly zoom out and then you could see what it's looking like and that's looking pretty good so far. And then just keep option clicking and painting. Maybe bring in some of the neck here. And you're basically doing reconstructive surgery. And you want to be very precise and careful with this. And let's go ahead and bring in some of the background here. Try to get rid of that. And then it looks like there's probably some hair comes down here. So go ahead and zoom out and take a look, and it looks like I 
doing a pretty good job. Maybe bring in some more background color right in here. And now let's zoom back out and take a look at that. Yeah, that's starting to look pretty good. So you could spend some more time on that, making it look just perfect. Okay, before you finish retouching this image using a variety of the tools I just showed you, I have one more cool trick. So let's go over to the baby's face over here, or the baby, and notice that uh, her sister's hand, her left hand, is missing. So what you can do here is get the lasso tool and draw a selection around the sister's hand. And then what you're going to do is switch to the Move tool. So I've got the selection there. Switch to the Move tool, letter V. Hold down Option and click and drag. And now you've duplicated this hand. Now you can press Command T. Right click inside that box and choose Flip Horizontal. And then move this hand into place. And press return. And then before you press Command D, just make sure it's in the right spot. Otherwise, once you do press Command D, it's pretty much locked there. So that looks good. You can also zoom out and see if the placement looks pretty good. And that does look pretty good. So Command D to deselect now. And now I wouldn't be able to move this at all. It would just move the whole image. Okay, so that hand looks good. Oh, uh, one more fun technique that you might enjoy. Uh, go ahead and choose the clone stamp tool, the letter S, and let's uh, go up to the uh, girl's face on the right here. And then, uh, actually, let's start with the, uh, we'll start with the standing girl first, and we're going to clone her face over here. So let's make the brush a little bit bigger to be about the size of her face, and that looks pretty good. Hold down Option and then click right on her face. Now make a new layer in the Layers palette, and then come over to her sister's face on the right and put it into place, and click. And now you've just cloned her face over there. They look like twins now. Now if you want to do a face swap, that's why I made an extra layer over here. So what you could do is hide this layer, and then uh, we can't click here for some reason, and I know the reason right now. It's because we're on the wrong layer. This layer is invisible, but it is highlighted. So what we have to do is go to this layer. Now this is going to work. I'll make the brush a little smaller. And hold down Option and click on her face. And then I can make another new layer. Come over to the big sister and click here. And that looks okay. There's a little halo there. We could kind of fix that uh, a little bit later. Um, with this layer, you could also do Command T, hold down the Shift key, and scale her face up a little bit. Make it a little bigger. And that's starting to look better. Let's turn this one back on, and now we've got a pretty good face swap. You zoom out, it looks okay. Uh, I would just maybe use some of the other cloning tools and the healing brush tools to get rid of... Uh, the little halo there or to get rid of the little dark spots over there. So go ahead and finish uh, fixing all of the rest of the image, paying special attention to the baby's chin. This is a tricky area here that'll take some time. And eventually you'll have something that looks like this. Let me go ahead and show you my final copy. So I've cloned her face here. So same girls. And then I fixed all the scratches under the table and all the spots and everything else so there's no more scratches left. Okay, great job and I'll see you in the next video. Hey, great job for the amount of photo retouching that you have done on this image. You could charge around $100. With a little practice, you can become proficient using the spot healing brush tool, the healing brush tool, the patch tool, and the cloning tool. Don't forget to be present, professional, and polite in all your future business encounters. Thanks. And have a great day.